the inferior semilunar lobule, you have two other lobules, the gracile and the biventer, which is not clearly delineable, meron pre, although I won't anymore, pre-pyramidal fissure, separating it further into a gracile and biventer. But what is more important would be the cerebellar tonsils. Ito yan. This is your cerebellar tonsil, like a tonsil. Can you see this one? Cerebellar tonsil. Okay. The cerebellar to it's like a diba tonsil pag may tonsillitis, it's mamaga. Okay. This one, can you see this one? Can you see this one? What are these two? Cerebellar tonsils. So, maski anong specimen, alam mo, the cerebellar tonsil will be this oval lobule of the posterior lobe in close proximity to your medulla. Medulla. Okay? So, what are the lobules again of the posterior lobe? Posterior lobe, posterior semilunar, superior semilunar, posterior, superior, superior, superior. And then this is the horizontal fissure that separates what two lobes? Superior from inferior semilunar. But the most important lobule is this one, cerebellar tonsils. Therefore, if, what is this space again? Ano nga yung space? Valecula. So the floor of the valecula is your vermis, but the lateral wall is your cerebellar tonsil. And because of the close proximity of the cerebellar tonsil, to your medulla. In cases of increased intracranial pressure, ito yung foramen magnum, it will herniate down at the area of least resistance. Diba? So by gravity, it will compress on which part of the brain? The medulla, which contains your respiratory centers. That's why the usual manifestation is respiratory arrest. All right? So if you want to study the cerebellum anatomically, that's how to do it. There's a physiological or functional divisions, no? So again, anatomically review, anterior is uh, narrower, posterior is wider, superior is flat, inferior is convex. You have a space you call the molecular. The floor is your vermis. The lateral wall will be your cerebellum which lies in close proximity to the medulla. Okay? And what are the three Longitudinal divisions, midline vermis and two hemispheres. Midline vermis and two hemispheres, convex on the inferior surface. That's why you have the molecular. It is divided also into three transverse lobes, namely the anato, anterior lobe, separated from the by what fissure? So anato, primary fissure, and then. On the inferior surface, this posterior lobe is separated from this by posterolateral fissure. Okay? And the posterior lobe is further subdivided into smaller lobules by secondary fissures. So what are the lobules? This is posterior semilunar fissure. Posterior fissure. Okay? If this is superior semilunar, ano to? Inferior. So what fissure is this? Horizontal, which separates what two surfaces? Inferior and superior surface. But the most important lobule is your cerebellar tonsil. Now, if you want to study the uh, functional division, diba? Functional. You have the floculonodular lobe, which is your vestibulos cerebellum, which phylogenetically is your archae. Cerebellum, diba? yeah. Because it is the oldest, right? The vermis, and remember the intermediate zone you call the paravermis. You, this is the vermis and the two hemispheres. Each hemisphere is divided into an intermediate zone and a lateral zone. Yung intermediate zone, yun yung katabing katabi ng vermis. So together with the vermis and the intermediate zone, ang tawag doon, Pino cerebellum, which phylogenetically is your palio cerebellum. And then the lateral zone is your cerebro cerebellum, which is the lowest, that's why you call it neo cerebellum. And they are always named according to the origin of fibers. So yung vestibulo cerebellum, which phylogenetically is your archi cerebellum, which is found in the flocculonodular lobe, 
will receive fibers primarily from where? The stimulars, di ba sabi ko, they are named according to the origin. So yung vermis and intermediate zone, specifically at the anterior lobe, which receives fibers or which is called the spinocerebellum, phylogenetically palio, will receive fibers from where? So the spinal cord for proprioception. And then the lateral zone, posterior lobe, which phylogenetically is your neo, which is called your cerebrocerebellum, will receive fibers from where? The cerebral cortex. Remember the corticopontocerebellar cerebellar pathway. I hope you remember that when Dr. Poblete was mentioning it, sabi ko, I hope naalala nila yung bones. Because I emphasize that. Okay? The decusation. So, just try to remember that when you study the cerebellum, you study it anatomically into midline vermis and two hemisphere, anterior, posterior, and floculonodular lobe. And you can divide it functionally, study it functionally in terms of fiber um, connections. Vestibular cerebellum or archicerebellum in the floculonodular lobe is receiving fibers from the vestibular which will have to project back to where the fibers came from. So pag galing sa vestibular, babalik lang din yun sa vestibular. The vermis and intermediate zone in the anterior lobe is spinocerebellum, fibers from spinal cord, project back cord. And then the lateral zone, neocerebellum, cerebrocerebellum, will receive fibers from the cerebrum. It will have to project back to the cerebrum, breaking conjunction, if you remember that. So I hope you can you can study this on your own. This is actually just um, the gross specimen. But just remember that when practicals are asked, side questions are usually clinical. So puede kumare itanong kumare in identify kumare vermis. Pwede ang tanong what will be the clinical manifestation if you have a lesion. You know it's truncal ataxia because of the homunculus. If you have a lesion of this, you will have nystagmus, di ba? And you can also have truncal ataxia. Use equilibrium. Kumare ang side question, identify. Sige nga, identify. Kumare side question, fibers come from Another side question, this is functionally called the vestibular cerebellum. E kung nga side question, phylogenetically you call this the archicerium. So questions can be asked differently, but if you understand, then you will be able to answer. So again, just try to remember when you look at the gross specimen, first is orient, anterior, posterior, superior surface, inferior surface, and then the the anatomical divisions, vermis and two cerebellar hemispheres, vermis and two cerebellar hemispheres, the three lobes. What are the three lobes? Anterior, posterior, and floculonodular lobe. What fissure? What fissure? What is this fissure? What does it separate? Surface and then the a posterior lobe is divided into smaller lobules. What is this? What is this? So what do you call this? Superior, superior fissure. What is this uh, lobule again? Superior. What is this lobule? So what is this fissure? Fissure. What is this important lobule? Which lies in close proximity to the medulla. And therefore, herniation, the usual cause of Tonsillar we call it tonsillar herniation, cerebellar tonsillar herniation will result in So try to study, try to study the specimen correlated with this.